B Monster Laboratory here. Today we're going to see how to crimp DuPont wire pin connectors like the kind you'd use in Arduino, how to install those pin connectors into the plastic pin connector housing, and a couple reasons how these pin connector kits would be useful for you. This is the Glarks 700 piece male and female pin connector set with the uh, pin connector housing. And they give you 10 feet of assorted wire, which I'm not going to use today, but maybe in the future. So if you need that, then it's included in the plastic box that they send you. And since I've never used this type of pin connector kit before, I did a couple trial runs here. And it's pretty easy once you get the hang of it. I messed a couple up, but uh, pretty easy once you know what you're doing. Here's a look at everything you'll get with the kit. You get uh, single and double row plastic connector housing. I'm not sure how much I'll use the double row connector housing, but I do have it in case I ever need it. And here's a look at the male and female pin connectors that you get as well. The reason I got this kit was because I purchased a sensor that has ridiculously small leads. And I know that if you get a soldering iron that close to plastic, it will melt the plastic and then probably ultimately destroy your sensor. And I don't want to have to pay for another one. The good news is that the leads coming off the sensor fit perfectly in the uh, female connectors and they're not tight but they do fit nicely and the two pin plastic housing fits perfectly so I think this is going to be a good option to protect those leads. Another reason you may want this kit would be for uh, screw terminals. They do fit nicely in screw terminals and they give you a nice clean look as well. It's also ideal for strand wire. It'll contain that strand wire so that you can plug your components directly into your breadboard. There are lots of other applications for these and I'm sure you'll find them very useful. For this video I'll be using a pair of crimpers. They are really cheap but they do work and I'll also be using some wire cutters. They're cheap as well so you don't always have to get the best. Here's an example of something you probably don't want to do. This was one of my first ones and as you can see the insulation wasn't cut uh, all the way up to the housing so the wire is exposed and I don't like that so what we're going to do is go ahead and, and uh, cut this wire in half and we'll redo the pin connector on the other end of the wire and hopefully we'll have better results. I'm going to do a male connector so the first thing we'll do is uh, break it off here and you don't have to be real careful it comes off real easy. Then we're going to place our wire in the connector, make sure that it's a nice snug fit. Now you can see how some of the wire insulation is up into the metal connector and that's so that the metal can wrap around the wire uh, whenever you crimp it. And it, it holds a lot better. Here's another look at the crimping. You place the connector in the little groove of your crimper and then you, uh, you squeeze it and it'll wrap that metal around the insulation. And the next thing we'll do is get a single pin housing and there's a wide hole and then there's a small hole on the other side. You want to put your wire through the wider hole and then push it all the way through till it clicks. And once it snaps in place it should be pretty sturdy. It shouldn't come out very easily. We'll go ahead and test it out on this breadboard I've been playing around with here. Put it in there. It fits nicely. Yep. So that one's perfect. Now your connector is going to have a V shape and it's going to look like it has wings on the back. And those wings fit right into an M shape on your crimper. And that shape like an M, that part is going to fold the wings over onto the wire. I hope that makes sense. But this is the orientation that you put it into your crimper. Now since our connectors are so small, we'll use the smaller grooves at the front of our crimper. Once we get the wire nice and snug into our connector, we put it into the crimper in the correct orientation and then press down and there we go. I think you can see it here. I actually recrimped this a second time because it fits better in the smallest setting. But uh, here you go. Nice firm attachment here. I'm pretty happy about this one. I'm ready to put the housing on here. See if you can hear the uh, the click. There you go. And now it's uh, good to go. 
So now that I have these, I'll probably be using them a lot more, especially with this recycled strand wire that I have. I hate working with strand wire, and this will make life a lot easier. Well, that's all I've got for now. Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like it by giving it a thumbs up, and also share it with somebody who may find it useful. If you haven't done so yet, be sure to subscribe to the channel, click the bell notification button, and I'll see you again soon.